wild end of the 2015 legislative session and the shortest one in nearly 50 years. But not everything was politics as usual as senators left before the House finished voting on bills because they were tired of waiting. The Senate finished around 1 a.m. this morning, while the House stuck around until almost 4, trying to tie up some loose ends. Lawmakers worked all day yesterday, but the House didn't move any bills, killing the ballot harvesting elections bill even though it had enough votes to pass the House. The Republicans dominated the legislative session, passing more bills in both the House and the Senate, many of which landed on Governor Ducey's desk in the last couple of weeks. If you are a far-right Republican conservative who believes in limited and even very limited government and very limited taxes and very limited uh, looking at the vision when it comes to investing in Arizona, uh, then I would say that it was a success. On the other hand, analysts say that key bills supported by Democrats never survived on the floor because they were assigned to multiple committees. If you were a perhaps a left-leaning or progressive uh, Democrat who believes government has a role to invest in a state, especially when it comes to education and programs and social programs to help those who need the help the most and believe that government can work, then it probably was a very negative session. Lawmakers did send a final round of bills to Governor Ducey. They included a measure allowing state officials to issue driver's licenses that comply with federal real ID standards. But Ducey's inspector general proposal and a second election bill Republicans wanted died.